paying the contractor to work uh, nights or weekends or the additional cost? To, uh, the, no, there's, there's no additional cost to work after the hours of law. No additional cost to work on Saturday and Sunday. The contractor's contract is duration per calendar day. So let's move on to the people policy and report. Uh, next up, uh, we'll probably have uh, uh, a much better uh, report to provide. I, I'm not quite sure what the water will take and how we want to do it. Uh, I'm happy to certainly comment on both these, the bonds KPI and the school KPI, unless the staff would first prefer to have any comment. Pardon, or Okay, well, I just, again, in the interest of time, I hope you've had a chance to look at it. Please take a look. There's a three-page schools KPI and then the one-page bonds KPI. Uh, I'd like to first look at the bonds KPI, which is the one-page. Um, then one addition or one change that we made, and that is at the bottom, trying to look at money cash on hand. And uh, you can see that uh, we're looking at bonds money on hand as of the report date of August 31st of 47830. And you can see matching funds, because these are kept track of separately in separate accounts, of 45060. And the total on hand cash of uh, these two uh, items uh, of 92. Now, interestingly, and Martin and I will talk about this before the next CBOC, is to whether or not we include that other 40 million, remember the contractor's fees that we heard about tonight, and then also the interest income. Because the idea here was when we have a matching funds received column up there above the big table, you can see it sort of toward the right, the fourth one from the right hand side. It, and, and it was, again, I was pleased that that 163 matched the gentleman's report. But uh, it, it sounds like that there's, there's been 40 million other non bond money comes into play. And so we'll try and see how we can incorporate that into the table. The other quick thing, which I would, would appreciate Martin commenting on, would be the matching funds at 45060, that line is going to go to zero after this month because of expenses that are going to match to that. So Martin, would you quickly comment on that, please? Sure. Um, on, in the matching funds is Fund 35, and that's what we receive from the state. And what we do uh, to receive those matching funds, we have to have a, it's it's spent on projects that um, we match up to it. So literally, we move funds over the expenses over there, and what will happen is uh, the matching funds at Fund 35 will decrease, but the the bond fund will increase. So it's a one of the increase of one increase and shows us spending the money in that account on, on the particular project. And the two projects are leadership and core modesty. Where we've received the funds in this account. And the reason we didn't do it earlier, we had it in late, uh, which we need a little long to go a little higher interest rate. Uh, but accounting wise. But what we're gonna do is uh, next month we're gonna move over the bond expenses. What you'll see is that the bond funds will go up. It won't go up by 45 million because we spend about 10 million a month, but it'll go up by 35 million. And so <coughs> next month should be around 82 million. And it'll all be just on the bond side. So I think we're saying from the county standpoint, as I understand it, is that we won't be tracking the separate line item of matching funds any longer. We'll be just looking at one one account there, the bond funds basically, is that correct? That's correct. And the reason for that is that we're in line to receive about seven million, but we can't collect any of that until the state passes a bond. That won't be till 2016, November 2016. So it may be, you know, it'll be a couple of years before we receive anything in on the state matching funds. On the seismic, we might, depending on what we submit. And you would see it going into the matching funds when we receive the money. The other thing I conclude from this is that we've received 163 million. Again, that matched nicely with the gentleman's report. And I'm concluding that of the 163 million received, as of the date of this report, we still have 45060 to spend. Mm -hmm. That. Otherwise, we spent about 120 million of the matching funds received. Am I saying that right? Yeah. Okay. And then um, the other thing you can see that that 
to that calculation of on average monthly for the last six months we've spent 10 million bucks on the bond construction program per month. So those are two additions at the bottom. I'll draw your attention quickly to uh, in my too quickly assertive with, uh, with uh, Charles Ramsey, and you'll you'll see where I said my piece in a minute. But you can also see that the bonds issued that as of the date of this report, we've actually spent 957 million of bond measure money. Okay, so I think this is a quite informative report. Um, and again, I'm always open to please share with me. I guess the KPI contact, if you will, and I can obviously discuss with Martin and, and uh, Maggie uh, additions or changes to these two reports. But that's the bonds KPI, and it sounds like Charlie has a question on that. Well, so the, uh, if what uh, Mr. Ramsey was bringing up was, was he talking about, he was saying one million four, so he was talking about total measure amount issued. Okay, I'm not going to point of order on this. I'll answer it in just a second oh. this way. I wanted you just to see that 957 was the amount of measure, bond measure spent. Now take a look at the three-page schools KPI with regard to Ramsey's point. Take a look at page three, please, at the bottom right of page three of the three-page schools KPI. That's the 996 that I was quoting as we spent about a billion dollars as of the date of this report, which is up at the top, September 18th. We always must be looking, whenever we're looking at any numbers, we've got to be looking at the date stamp of the report. So as of the date stamp of this, which came out of Primavera, is the 996. Now interestingly, from last month's report on August 20th, this expense has only gone up $2 million. And I was talking with Martin before the meeting, and we'll be talking, Maggie, Martin, myself, to kind of reconcile that last column here on the Primavera report and to see if we're as close as we can be out of the, there are some other, I don't want to say they're separate accounts because I'd, I'd be misstating that, but, and, and then also Martin was saying that, that we've actually had, there was a personnel matter for two weeks, uh, the gentleman who normally uh, uh, does the postings. Um, so the fact that last month's report was 994 and this month's report was 996, part of that is explainable just by, from a personnel standpoint of, you know, posting monies and so forth. So I don't want to get too much in the weeds on that, but I'm just saying I, I've gotten pretty familiar with this format. I hope you will over time also. The other quick thing I want to draw attention to on the school's bond KPI, again, if not everybody brought their last month's report, I guess, but that revised commitment column, please make note of that as those are purchase orders committed. That's what we're on the hook for. Those are the district contracts that the school district has issued. So we're on the hook for those. And thanks to David for that terminology. We're on the hook for them. Those are actual commitments that we have. Now that number has actually gone down by 60 million from last month. And we scratch our head and we say, what? Are we going backwards on this? Well, there was an error, I'm going to assume. I haven't had a chance to get into it with Maggie or David on this, in terms of the Gompers line. Because when you look at the Gompers line, last month's was 147 million in the budget column, or I'm sorry, the, the uh, Committed column, and uh, anyway, that's been fixed, so that, that accounts for that. And also the Nystrom, I'm happy to see that in this, remember last month we talked about a $14 million addition that was approved by the Board of Education and so forth. Now if we look at the Nystrom budget money uh, under elementary schools, it's gone up to the $49 million reflecting that change of budget. So this really is a, a highly useful report. The last thing I'm going to say in the interest of time is that the number of sub-projects, you know, a couple columns from the left, very, very important. Um, uh, Ohlone, 14 sub-projects. We looked at two of them here. All of those quote-unquote project reports we saw, they are all sub-projects. So when we look at a school site, we're looking at sub-projects when Magda goes through these. We just got to keep that in mind. Remember that 16, 9, 961 or something of Ohlone, uh, was one of the 14 sub-projects out of a total school site budget of 34,559. So it's those kinds of things that this kind of report can be really handy for if we all get dexterous with it. Thanks.